So, with Christmas fast approaching, there's a question on many an inquisitive child's mind. Just how does Santa and his reindeer make it all the way around the world in just one night? Well, since I'm not a physicist, I can't speak to the science of flight or speed or any of that. But I think it has a lot to do with the reindeer, and I can speak to reindeer biology. Now you have to remember that the reindeer are making this around the world trip in just one night. That night is very important, with the exception of one especially bright-nosed young reindeer. How in the world do they see so well in the middle of the night? Well, we should start to look for clues in the eyes of some other animals that are very good at seeing in low light conditions. Have you ever noticed that when you take a picture of a cat, its eyes glow this really weird blue? That's actually caused by something known as the tapetum lucidum. It's a layer right behind the retina in the cat's eye that acts as a mirror. Now the retina is the light sensitive layer of the eye, so it picks up all the light that's coming in. And the tapetum lucidum right behind it helps shine light that passes through the retina back on the retina to increase its sensitivity in low light situations. Many other mammals, like the reindeer, also possess a tapetum lucidum. And recently, some researchers in Norway were interested in wondering whether or not this tapetum lucidum changed the way it reflected light in winter and summer. The researchers were studying reindeer in a very northern portion of Norway. Now these reindeer are exposed to long periods of darkness during the winter and then long days of continual sunlight during the summer. So it might make sense that this reflective layer in their eye might change the way it responds to light in these different situations to help the reindeer adapt to seeing in very different environments. Now what they found was that in the summer, the tapetum lucidum of these reindeer was a very bright gold color, reflecting all the light that came in straight back through the retina. However, in the winter, the tapetum lucidum was a dark, deep blue color, potentially scattering light out at an angle back through the retina. Now while this angular scattering of light would decrease the visual acuity of the retinas, it would increase their sensitivity to light, which would be helpful in low light situations. And indeed, the researchers found that these winter retinas were more sensitive to light than their summer counterparts. Next, the researchers asked how the tapetum lucidum changes from gold in the summer to blue in the winter. The color and reflectivity of the tapetum lucidum are based on the spacing of collagen fibers within it. The researchers found that in the summer, these collagen fibers were spaced far apart, giving the tapetum lucidum its gold appearance, but in the winter, they were very close together, giving it its blue appearance. The researchers hypothesized that this change in collagen spacing was due to a change in the intraocular pressure of the reindeer eyes in the winter. So in the winter, when there are very low light conditions, the pupil has to dilate, and this increases the pressure inside the eye. And they hypothesized that this increased pressure would squish these collagen fibers closer together, creating a gold to blue color shift. Now, they tested this with a super cool and just brilliantly simple experiment. What they did was that they took a gold summer tapetum lucidum, and they looked at it under a microscope, and they saw that it looked gold. But then they put a cover slip and eight grams of weight on top of it sort of simulating this change in intraocular pressure. And what they found was that the color changed from gold to blue, just like the change from summer to winter in the reindeer eyes. Super cool. So it seems like reindeer can adapt to low light situations by changing the color of the tapetum lucidum at the back of the eye. Very cool and very important to one specific population of reindeer one very chilly December night a year. Go forth, do science, and Merry Christmas.